the light is much stronger than the darkness. And because a little bit of light wipes out the darkness in, in a nanosecond, you know, the speed of light. So light is more powerful. Saying positive is more powerful. But it's life, it's normal to be feel negative sometimes. When I feel stressed out, whatever, you know, it's normal. Sometimes I feel behind on everything. I feel sometimes I feel like a loser. Sometimes I feel depressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm just not doing what I need to do with my life. I'm not doing enough. I'm not taking enough chances. I'm afraid of failure, afraid of success. This and that, afraid to make decisions. <clears throat> afraid of rejection. Trying to set up a shot here somewhere. Trying to see if it works. I'm using my iPhone 12 Pro Max because my 14's charging. I'm having problems with this lighter. I want to get a shot of the cabin with the sunset, but my head's probably blocking it. I'm gonna just check the frame, make sure I'm standing in the right spot. <clears throat> Nature's so beautiful. Man, I sure do love it up here in the cabin. It's beautiful out here. Good things are coming my way. Good things are coming my way. You say your positive phrases. It's the power of positivity and having faith. It's much stronger than the opposite. The light is much stronger than the darkness because a little bit of light wipes out the darkness in, in a nanosecond, you know, the speed of light. Even afraid of like, success, which is strange. It happens, you know. It's programming from childhood. And everyone's got it. And you have to override your programming reprogram yourself and that takes a conscious decision it takes effort it takes work you have to make a conscious decision and work on it the same way you know mentally and spiritually and meditatively and visualizing and choosing hope and faith it's the same thing as you know going to the gym and working out you have to do it you know what I mean you have to actually do it it's something you have to do and you have to try and you have to do it every day because the battle starts over every day I just appreciate having an opportunity to make some videos because that's what I love doing. I don't really, I don't know if I love making just like normal YouTube videos like this where I'm talking. I like making theater cinematic. I want to make movies more, I think. That's more fun to me.
still not dark enough yet. waiting for it to get darker it's not dark enough yet I'm just buying time it came out here a little bit too soon I could have finished getting some more shots in the cabin I appreciate people watching if you're actually watching this video right now that's actually pretty cool because and you actually watch it through that's really cool because the fact that I only have 109 subscribers subconsciously and you know it, it's, it's not gonna have my I'm not gonna have credibility with that low of subscribers people are gonna see it and be like, eh, it must be stupid, you know, and I would do the same thing, it's human, it's psychology, but if I had 10 million subscribers, then people would watch, they would comment, you know, it's hard to be the only one in the room, you know, the first to raise your hand type thing, it's the same type of psychology where you don't want to leave a comp, be the first to leave a comment, or the first to subscribe or like something when there's not a lot that happened before it and a lot of you know I don't know the word but when something's successful a lot of people you know buy it or are or, or participating you know someone's got 10 million subscribers they get treated differently they have more respect and more you know authority than someone who does it and so I have no, you know, credibility or authority or anything with 109 subscribers. So the fact that if you're actually here, that actually means a lot. And that's a win. It's a win, win. So thank you. And I appreciate my friends and the 109 subscribers that I have today. <laughs> try to get some more. I want to try to get, you know, let's try to get a hundred thousand and then we'll go to 10 million and then, you know, Mr. Beast has got over 200 million. If I can get 10 million and then <laughs> maybe I'll shoot for a hundred million. See if I can get better. The only reason I came out here an hour ago was to get this sunset type of shot. So the sun just set. So there's a little bit of light residual light left over from the sunset and I was hoping that this would be the cool shot to show you guys because I want to show you proof that you can make cinematic shots by yourself with your iPhone so here's proof it's beautiful out here and you use nature and I can't even stand anymore because getting colder and all this wet snow packed down it's turning to ice but this is it this is just living the dream right here right here and I got my axe too so I can go out and chop some more wood
Man, it's very beautiful. Look at the, look at the trees and the skyline. And the smoke from the cabin. I hope I, you can see it. I'm not blocking it. I have no idea where I am in the frame. I'm guessing. Thanks for watching. I actually really appreciate you watching. Friends that I've had for a long time watching. You know, getting new subscribers is fun. It's fun to get a new subscriber, and, and I know it's hard for people when my channel's so tiny. Are you grilling out? What? Are you gonna grill out again? What? <laughs> What's for dinner? Soup? You soup? Oh, you're bringing me soup? Bringing me soup right now? Right now. Right now? Oh. Right now? I gotta get my clicker. I forgot the clicker thing to shut the camera on and off. Oh man, I just got a new one too. With it's, well, it's in the cabin. Oh, okay. I, I've been using it. It's inside. I hooked up that new ring light. Oh, man. Today at my office, because you didn't use it <laughs> at all. Yeah. Then it came with its own clicker. Oh, good. You know what you're doing, like with the water and all that? Yeah. Cool. Yep. Cool. <clears throat> Pretty sure. <laughs> I've done it enough times. Yeah. Okay, I got my clicker now. This helps. <laughs> it was in the cabin. You just press the button and you can hear it. Ding! So, I'm rolling. Every time I've been slipping and sliding, walking back behind the camera. Jacob just brought me some soup. <clears throat> but his wife made some soup and crackers. I was gonna bring it up here, but it's gonna freeze and I don't have a spoon. So I'm gonna go inside. Probably getting too dark now. I'm gonna go eat my soup. That Jacob brought me. I'm shooting my own stuff. And I could do it 12 hours a day and not have a problem because it's fun. I just don't have the time or the money. But if I can somehow make it my job, I would do that. So that's what I'm trying to do. Just lighters. Throwing it in the trash. Well, it's probably dark enough. I can't even really see. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, nice. I put my flash on. I'm using the flash that's built in on the camera. I don't like that as much. I don't use that very much. It's just not. It's not very cinematic, you know, it's just straight on, you know. You want the light source to be off to the side, you know, to, to create the cinematic look. The light on the one side and the camera on the darker side. But I gotta go in, eat my soup, take a piss. It kind of gives just a little bit of light on the cabin of the outline. Yeah, I mean, I'm almost done now, but the blue sky looks amazing. That's the shot, right there.